I've been doing this work since 1985, so about 23 years, whatever that is. I uh, have been doing economics and damage quantification work in a dispute type environment. That's how I describe it. I wasn't describe myself as a forensic economist. So we live in this world that never existed. In other words, there's been some wrongful conduct. A firm is contending that they've suffered economic harm because of the wrongful conduct. Somebody's got to go back and figure out in the absence of the wrongful conduct, what would the world have looked like? Okay? And what would have been the profitability of the firm? What would have been the revenues? What would have been the cost? What would have been the profits? How much would they have made in the absence of the wrongful conduct? And that's how much that ultimately is being claimed for damages because of the wrongful conduct. Now, when you talk about intellectual property, you can talk about trade dress cases. You can talk about theft of trade secret cases. You can talk about uh, patent infringement cases. You can talk about copyright infringement cases. So those are everything that are called sort of intellectual property. And intellectual property is no different than physical property. So just like you might own a piece of land and somebody trespasses on your land and that's against the law, well, when somebody steps on your intellectual property or uses your intellectual property without permission, that's against the law and you're allowed to be compensated for that. Patent infringement cases, uh, perhaps more than other causes of action, are very much tied to case opinions. And so over the course of the next two years, you're going to want to become familiar with these cases. So we talked about Panduit, that's establishing a claim for lost profits. We talked about Georgia Pacific, that's establishing, helping to establish and analyze a reasonable royalty. So if somebody asks you to do uh, basically a Georgia Pacific analysis, what you're trying to do is out of these 15 factors, when you're looking through all the documents, start cataloging in your mind Okay, when I find certain documents, which of the 15 buckets will these documents fall into? And what you always want to keep in mind is what kind of forces or pressures are present that will either drive the royalty rate up or down depending on the analysis we do for each of these factors.